Hi guys, so I'm going to do another vlog on adult nursing. Um, I am a, currently a student in the end of my second year. Um, if you've been following my vlogs, then this will just kind of lead on, but if you haven't, then welcome. So, at the moment I'm on my last placement of second year, we have two. Um, it's a community placement, which means we're out in the community, we're working Monday to Friday, kind of nine to five hours. Um, and I am really enjoying it at the moment. It's a lot of kind of wound dressings and like continence assessments. Um, you've got to be really non-judgmental going into people's houses because people live in very different environments to how you would choose to live and especially if they're not able to care for themselves properly. Um, you know, the houses can be quite dirty, so they've got animals and stuff. For example, yesterday I went to a house and I was just in pure shock because I'd been pre-warned about it, but it was this kind of, they weren't even elderly, they were like 50 and 60 years old, this couple. Um, one of them was bed bound and the other was kind of a bit, he had a walking stick, so I think they both had learning difficulties as well. And they had two dogs who were, they were trying to rehome at the moment, but basically you go in and your feet are like sticking to the floor and there's like dog wee and poo everywhere, it's really dirty, you can't even breathe because the smell is so strong and while we were there the dog actually pooed on the floor you've just got to be so open-minded I mean I was just in shock I didn't really know what to say but my mentor was quite good and she just let them know that the dog had just pooed on the floor. So far this year I've had um, two assignments, a poster presentation, an exam, a maths exam and I'm about to do a practical exam um, so far this year I've kind of, I've done okay, like some parts have been better than others. Um, I got 70% in my post presentation which is just on a first. Um, in my assignment, it was like a care plan assignment that I really didn't get at all, I got 40% which is just a pass, it was horrible, I hated it. Then we had um, a kind of sciencey exam and I really like those ones and I got um, 76.5 percent which is a good first, I was really pleased with that. Um, then we had another assignment that was 50 percent um, part of the poster, they were 50-50 and I, I don't know if you know this but I always really struggle with assignments, like I've got good English and everything but for some reason I find it really difficult getting my point across and I just don't seem to get the marks so I got 55 percent which isn't awful, it's not as good as I wanted so overall on that um, with the poster and the assignment I think I got 62.5% which is just a lower 2-1, which is okay, I mean, I was expecting it really. Um, we just did a numeracy exam in which you have to get 80% because there's 10 questions, it's 8 out of 10. And I think I did okay with that. And then on Monday, in two days, I've got um, a practical exam, which I'm really not looking forward to because I'm not very good at the practical aspect when people are watching me. Um, because it's kind of like acting to me and it's very stressful, it makes me really nervous and I just I just don't feel like myself but I'm supposed to be revising for that right now but instead I am making a video. Lots of people ask me um, what it's like to have university placement and to work as well because I work as a healthcare assistant for an agency so I only have to work when I want to work but because I don't get a bursary and I don't have a loan um, I kind of have to work to get by otherwise I'm not going to get not going to be able to do anything really. Um, and the honest answer is it's it's complicated. Me and my flatmate have been talking about it today and like money stresses, trying to organise your money, getting bills, getting this and that and just so stressful because being a student is very stressful because you are poor for about three years and then you start work and you've got a bit more money but with more money you're going to have more responsibilities so it's still going to be really difficult and it's it's kind of a, a good learning curve, it's, it teaches you how to manage your money in the best way possible because you don't really have much. Um, but you can do it if you want to work and go to uni because uni is only like a, a few hours a week, it's not, it's not a really excessive amount. Um, so you can work if you want and then when you're on placement it's a lot harder, like at the moment I'm working Monday to Friday so if I want to work it's going to have to be on the weekend which is supposed to be my time off but I'm going to have to work during this placement which is, it's crap really, but you just have to do it and it's just something 
when you're a student, you've just got to take the bad times with the good and just get on with it, really. So I'm finally coming to the end of my second year now, um, which I am very happy about because, as you may or may not know, if you follow my blog and if you've been following my vlogs, you'll know that I'm, I've always been really excited to qualify. And I understand it's a three-year course for a reason, like, I'm not ready yet, I still, I'm, I, I'm, I'm enjoying myself and I feel a lot more ready than I ever did, but I'm still not ready to be a qualified nurse. Um, but I have been really looking forward to finishing this course. And in um, about just over a year, I've actually got it on my phone. I'll show you now. I hope you can see this. In one year, one week and four days, um, I will finish my nursing training. And that's really exciting for me because now we're in 2014 and I finished my degree in 2015. So it's really exciting. You can see the end of the, the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, and you kind of feel like you're working towards something a bit more. So I've got, um, I've got eight more weeks left of placement. Next week I've got one exam and then I've got the rest of the week off because it's an exam week. Then I've got seven weeks of placement and then we've got about six weeks off before we start our third year at the beginning of May. Um, and our third year is only nine months long, which is kind of scary and really exciting at the same time. So I just, I can't wait to finish. I don't think any of us can. It's it's scary, but it's definitely And then finally, I don't know if you guys know, but I do have a blog. I go on about it a lot and I'll put the link in the down bar. And if you want to check it out, please do. It's been really nice. Like a couple of people have been reading them and making their own. So um, yeah, have a read. I, I don't post that often. I'd say like at least, at least a few times a month. Um, it just depends how busy I am. I'll be posting more now that I'm on placement because I'll have Lots of interesting stories to tell you, especially because we're in the community. But um, yeah, go and check my vlog out and I hope you like it. So thank you for watching my vlog and I will catch up with you probably when I finish my second year.